Gloria has been rightly called, now for at least half a century, the face of feminism, the image of the women's liberation movement. It's hard to um, overstate how profoundly Gloria Steinem's work has personally had an effect on me and my work. From really the earliest age, I can remember being conscious of feminism's movement. When I was about 15, I remember being in the library in my high school. I think I picked up some magazine uh, that had a feature about her, and the way she communicated, it was just like the sun was coming out. I, I have a very clear memory of my mother and my grandmother, their excitement over the first issue of Ms. Magazine, and going to get it. It was, a, it was an event. Gloria Steinem is an icon for all women. Uh, she's a role model. She's someone that inspires us, that has shown so many of us how it's done. She's someone who's made a huge impact on certainly my life and, and our country's history. As we go marching, marching, and bring the greater days, the rising It is her gift for empathy. When Gloria is the center of attention, she holds no megaphone. She's almost always listening. Feminism is about looking at structural inequalities and demanding they be different. Young women today expect to be able to pursue their talents and skills and education without gender being used as an overt barrier. I was the generation of girls that was told you can be anything you want to be. And I believed that. Uh, and I really didn't see uh, sexism until I was well into my career. I really began to see it when I was a young lawyer uh, working in a big law firm. And I recognized that we weren't all paid the same. Feminism means that my daughter's generation and my son's generation don't think there's something weird about women asking for respect. And now what's really exciting, 2016 was newsworthy as men, this whole new generation of men globally, are stepping into roles in feminism. At an Equal Rights Amendment march, I said that there were only two ways for women to get into Washington, marrying in and marching in. Since then, we've added a couple of other ways, getting elected in and getting appointed in. But the truth is that marriage and marching still account for most of us. I really think we need more women in Congress. We only have 18, 18% uh, 18 in the House of Representatives. We only have 20% in the Senate. And it's just not enough. We need to have 51%. We need the number of women to represent our actual population. And I promise, if we had more women representing us in Washington, more of the issues that so many of us care about would make it to the top 10 issues. In order to have justice, the recipients of justice have to be just as fully human in the collective imagination as the people dispensing justice. Gloria Steinem is somebody who has, through her activism, certainly through her writing, through her speaking, has dedicated herself and been tremendously effective in illuminating and elucidating the actual, real, tangible, full humanity of classes of people. She's been an advocate her whole life, and she's someone who truly believes in women's voices. She's someone who works on the grassroots to make sure the voices of many are heard. And she's someone who truly believes in democracy, that democracy works best when regular people stand up and demand action. People in the West under notice how thoroughly she's been committed to issues for women all over the world. Gloria spends much of her time in the air traveling to places around the globe that are not the world's best garden spots. She's deserving of the John Jay Medal for Justice uh, because her whole 
career and life's work has been about justice. And, you know, that's the beauty of her version of feminism, probably understood feminism just is justice. Um, it's just not being unjust on the basis of gender. My hope is that families will cherish and prize their daughters as much as their sons, that girls and boys will grow up feeling free to be whatever their talent allows them to be, that our world will become safer, happier, more opportunity-filled, because women in numbers are every place where decisions are made. So Gloria Steinem says uh, that she doesn't like the phrase passing on a torch because every woman has her own torch. If everyone has a torch, there's more light. I believe we need more bright lights, more women advocates, more women voting, uh, more women being heard. I'm holding my torch. I'm holding my I torch. Carry the torch. I, I carry the torch. I am carrying 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 the torch.